symbolism all over the globe through these national corporations, international corporations. Um, the, the idea wasn't that America was supposed to become this next thing. America was the next step in the great work. Mm. And so first you had to build up this free nation on the, on the concepts of the streets are paved with gold. You know, everybody come to America, you'll be free, except for the slaves. Uh, <laughs> and except for you that have to work for money, but except for you that aren't sworn at our altar. Uh, you know, all of you can be president. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for, right, exactly. Know, that That's didn't right. swallow at the, uh, the altar. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't set up as this great new force to take over the world, but another stepping stone. And so to complete the stepping stone, that free society had to be shown that freedom leads to evil nature. And so then they program us using all of their Hollywood matrix. I mean, they've been programming this into us since the moment video hit the screen. Uh, you can watch it in, all the way back, you know, especially Walt Disney once again, and, and check out their early war propaganda films, Disney on the front lines. They were taken over by the military industrial complex in 1941, but of course he was hired by J. Edgar Hoover, the 33rd degree Freemason, in the first place to, to establish this type of programming. And then Disney boasts even that their programming worked so well, getting people to pay their income tax and saving their grease to make bullets, uh, that the Nazis, <laughs> Joseph Goebbels uh, uh, adopted Walt Disney's design and started putting out his own cartoons. So, uh, you know, and Disney boasts about this. So, uh, you know, they are programming you. And this is the, the scenario that they wanted to get engineer. Now we are to be Satanists, as it were, you know, quote unquote. Mm. And so that's why we see Lady Gaga and blood rituals at the VMA Awards. That's why we see Madonna kissing Britney. That's why they are programming it. The princess warrior programming throughout every uh, medium that they can. And this is how we open the story with, with uh, Ming the Merciless uh, fighting against the princess warrior, the Flash Gordon and Dale Arden, mm. you know, the, the football player. So you've got your Barbie G.I. Joe. You've got your Hannah Montana Transformers. And when you walk down your store aisles, you're going to see one left, the left side of your head will be all pink, and it's going to be all kinds of princess programming. It's going to be Hannah Montana and Disney princesses. Walk down any Walmart or Target aisle, and you'll see entire aisles of nothing but princess programming. You know, get your little golden cell phone. Get your little bubblegum cell phone. You, you need this new laptop. But, of course, the only way that those cell phones and laptops can be produced is if the military-industrial complex keeps producing them. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you know, we go moving through the spectrum of control. So back in the day, we had the gods, and the, and the monuments to the gods were the biggest. And, of course, it was Akhenaten's father that started that whole thing, not the pyramids, but the monolithic structures of themselves. Uh, Amenhotep III, Akhenaten's father, you'll see, it was the first massive statue of, of you know, an Egyptian pharaoh. So you had the gods ruling, and they had the biggest buildings in town, and then you had uh, that move to the church, and, of course, the same Egyptian structure is inside the Vatican, inside of Catholicism. They actually just went and scraped off the, the god forms out of the church or the temples and replaced them with the saints. It was no different. So we have the exact same religion in Catholicism as ancient Egypt. And the churches were the biggest buildings in town. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. you know, the money t has taken over as our largest faith-based system. Everybody believes in this malarkey which doesn't exist. They just needed to collect gold for the gods. But, you know, they got us doing it, and then they got us building the technology they need to transmit themselves off this planet. So in order to keep all of that going, they, they keep this Princess Warrior pr programming going up. So when the boys go in to see uh, Avatar, they go in to see 2012 or any of these films, first thing they're going to see on the big screen is this dramatic film about how cool it is to be robo-sapien and join the National Guard, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I like that, robo-sapien. That's, that's a new word. I haven't heard that before. It's perfect. So w w yeah. what do you think is like, because, uh, you know, this is in one way, then, it, again, it's it's a continuation of the... Uh, the process that some people have, have claimed began, you know, obviously way back in terms of the revolutionary movements and all this, but this has led up to the, the, the sixties, don't trust anybody over 30, turning the kids against the parents, you know, and, and, and getting of the kids to, to eight hours indoctrination at school instead of spending time home with their parents and getting a, you know, a, a proper education, things like this. It seems to me that they're turning obviously the kids against the parents. 
Um, Absolutely. And the question is, of course, what what they want to use the kids for. What, what do you think is, is the ultimate goal of, of what the kids are supposed to be? Are, are they becoming a you know, warrior in the next step of the galactic war? Is a human race being turned into a a breed of of uh, fighters for the uh, you know the nephilim slash uh, you know alpha alpha draconis slash syrian crowd or, or what do you think is going on what's the purpose here well my favorite one was when rael said if your parents don't agree with all these technologies that we're bringing you virtual sex on computers electronic drugs don't worry they will just die and be replaced by you <laughs> Okay, so it's all in the mind programming of the children because they're the ones that carry the future. And so when we look into the Nazi spectrum of how they indoctrinated the people, of course, they started with the children. So did Walt Disney, and Walt Disney has this uh, film about how to become a Nazi, right? Uh, It's a great one showing how you get ridiculed if you are uh, show mercy. And so we have been put into this now death cult scenario where all the children's clothes have death heads on them they all worship death fire burning uh you know the video games kill 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 and then every dark hero that we see on stage such as v for vendetta or even neo from the matrix you know slasher killer heroes Mm. so that's what they're being trained to idolize and that's why disney has now bought over marvel as well and you'll probably start seeing more violent heroes coming out of marvel um when they tried to make Batman Azrael and he became this violent hero, this dark hero, the, the public revolted against this. They, they were like, you know, Batman's the detective. He's not this uh, spine-bashing killer. What's going on here? Mm-hmm. And so they actually had to have Bruce Wayne and Azrael duke it out uh, to bring back Bruce Wayne as Batman because the people revolted against that concept. So what they're doing is indoctrination, indoctrination on this whole idea. And yes, the the 60s was a major movement in that, uh, using the Beatles, of course, uh, who weren't very popular at that time, uh, but making them appear across Hollywood as if they were the biggest thing ever, just like the Jonas Brothers, right? <laughs> and, you know? And, yeah, exactly, right? Well, that's what people thought at the time. But since they promote it into us and they say, yeah, you want to be like this, and then the children all started letting their hair grow, and this put us schism in between the parents and the, and the children, mm. and the children revolted. And the more that we revolted, then we started to lose that family connection. And now, where we're at now, in 2010, we barely have family connection. Yeah, yeah. I mean... You know, and yeah. you can't afford to live with your parents or near your parents. You got to go where the job is. You got to go. So, all of this has been a, a full ray, a spectrum, or full ray blitz on on separating everyone. Isolationism is their main focus. If we all started coming together, growing gardens in our front yard, and just eating and forgetting about going to war and not listening to their jargon as they're telling us that Obama or Osama bin Laden uh, loves underwear bombers you know uh we we wouldn't even be thinking about it yeah but they they convince us that this is all true and then we fall into it hmm. and most most do and, and in one sense i feel that also there's um a, a crowd of people falling away from this that they they are becoming smarter to the plan um you know many many might still be in the kind of um you know fighting stages of this that they you know argue over who is to blame and, and things like this, which, which is very petty too in one way, but at the same time, it's it's a positive note to see that many people are, are kind of, they're rejecting it, falling off from it. But I guess one of the questions I want to ask is, uh, is uh, it seems still that the majority are falling for the propaganda. They're, they're f- walking straight into the, the jaws of this uh, beast that they're setting up for us. But again, to just emphasize that point that uh, the harder, the more rather they, they, they push this agenda on people. I also feel that the more and more people will will fall away from from that and, and want to find an alternative way to to um, them what they're offering. What what do you think about that, Freeman? Okay, three camps there. Now, first of all, I'm a member of the Rainbow Family. I go out to the national forest, and basically, what our purpose was every year is to stand strong on the fact that these national forests are humanity's gift, and we get to use them, and they're not controlled by anyone. But over the years, ever since I began Rainbow, the federal government has been taking over and making these into national parks. And, of course, they've got everyone on the climate uh, study and, and going, yes, yes, we need to have federal control over these lands. So now, you know, we're 